Hey folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let's look at Azar's house today and I'm going to be talking about Azar's Wanted. So let's hit the point right away. Box. Azar's Wanted, blah blah. Green, not green. Golden. Where is green? Are you high? I'm not. Just kidding. I'm just high on coffee. Alright, I had very strong coffee in the morning. Azaro, EDT, 100 mil, made in France. Batch code, back. Uh, you know, this is this is the typical drill. Not gonna talk about the box. The bottle, however, I'm interested to show you. This is the bottle. You must have seen. Jeremy introduced this when he introduced it. His video title was uh, Azaro wanted my trip to Monaco. So I was like confused like hell. I was like, they wanted his trip to Monaco, right? And he's introducing this. Then I realized this. Azaro wanted was the fragrance he was talking about. So it kind of like was a coincidence or maybe it was just a nice... Uh, like you know play to it so i kind of like remembered that so since his review i wanted to try this so now it's not getting so much hype or love and it's somewhere the hype was gone i don't know why and i just thought decided to give this a try because i sniffed this once and i really liked it and i have it on my hand let me show you the sprayer i'll tell you about the bottle details kind of like a dwarfy kind of a sprayer not the biggest fan of this bottle either <laughs> but the sprayer is all right okay shoots like straightforward to the point you know it's like a laser sort of a sprayer up there looks like a holster of a gun i'm not a gun specialist revolver pistol however you call it looks like a chamber of six it's like a six shooter it's fully loaded i guess it's ready to go that sort of theme they're going with juice color it's sort of reminds me of this bottle i don't know why do you see a similarity between these two yeah this is ugly as hell with the big tummy and stuff but then color <laughs> matches anyway this is this is done better so many people they like the uh, design of it. For me, I'm not the biggest fan. I think it it's kind of like incomplete. If it was like whole thing was a gun, but then it would be like a threat. So, <laughs> so juice color, I'm not sure. I think it's yellowish, fruity. It says Azaro right here. And this part is uh, plastic. And it's Azaro on the cap. So another funny thing about thing is, this fun thing, you guys need to know, if you ever open it like this, never twist it and open. Because then what's gonna happen is, your atomizer will come off it's a refillable bottle that's right so this is additional information not many people will provide you so screw it back airtight and then use it take the cap off straight away and this is metal okay this is metal heavy cap so another thing fun fact i just checked fragrant ticker there's another version of this it's already out or it's gonna be coming out on 2017 which is a fully uh, metallic the bottle is fully metallic and looks kind of cool but to me both of them like okay the juice is same and it's called free ride i think don't quote me on it maybe it is i'll put the information below so the thing is clicks on place but then yeah secure bottom is your sticker and all that so the thing is overall for the presentation it's okay not my favorite bottle but the thing is how's the smell most important thing so this fragrance is often compared to invictus straight away this one my favorite favorite invictus and i did try them side by side a few times and I do see them in the dry down, they are very, very close, okay? But they're not identical or same. I think the comparison I would say on the dry down is more towards Hawas. Hawas is more depth. It has more better performance than this or the Invictus combined, okay? Hawas is a beast. So thing is, from House of Razazi, they did a great release, Hawas. But the thing is, if you own those fragrances, even I would say, Okay, let's not, let me not show you the empty bottle. I have two bottles of this. Let me show you the full bottle, Invictus Aqua. Even if you are a fan of this, you definitely need to try this at least once because they are not all the same. They are similar, but not same. So the introduction reminds me of one fragrance. More than those other fragrances, reminds me of Artramol, straight away. Artramol, it's a little bit more pineapple-y, less grapefruit. This has more grapefruit than pineapple i definitely detect some pineapple juice in this okay but ultramol is super loud super potent just one spray of that will let the whole block know that you're wearing a fragrance this fragrance however you have to go a little bit more with this prayer it's a strong fragrance it's a long lasting fragrance but the projection is not one of the best so how many sprays i would go with this i'll go six bangladesh condition i'll go six okay in foreign countries maybe you should go like four five maximum how many sprays i mean where neck 
open neck, boom, boom, two shots. Back of your neck, one. So that's three. Two on this side of your shirt. How many? Five. And one on the chest. Boom, go. If you want to really project, go on your arm or your palm. Anywhere you have. You can go liberal with this. That's the whole point I'm trying to make. You can never go too much with this. But uh, I would suggest stay within six, seven. Who is it for? Youngsters. Youthful people, happy people, carefree people, people who are not so anal. Let's just put that term there. It's not a nice term, but I would say anal people, like always anal, analyzing everything. So this scent doesn't have that best transformation. It doesn't give me that niche feel to that, you know. Dude, I, I don't get the best outcome. Those people don't look into this. If you're over anal analytic, is it the word? If you're doing too much analysis, don't, don't, this is not your stuff. It's just my two cents, by the way. I'm not absolutely right all the time. Do I love the smell? Hell yes. Why? This is a fruitier version of Invictus. Invictus smell, yeah, it does have that lady killer vibe. It has that mysterious bit of salty aquatic feel and the fruity feel. And it has that synthetic aroma to it. That is, I think, Ambroxan or a Tonka bean amped up in it. That definitely draws attention. This is stronger than Invictus. Yes, I said it. Do I love it over Invictus? I love them both because I'm a lover. I'm not a hater. <laughs> okay. But the thing is, as I was saying, Hawass and this are very close. Even Invictus on a dry down opening, they're all different than each other. So when you spray it at first, you get that blast of grapefruit mixed with pineapple juice. And it's lovely. And let me tell you, it's just lovely. It's very, very lovable. And I think it's pretty unisex. Age, no limit. Anyone can use this anywhere. Uh, seasons, I would say, are more on, except the extremely cold weather, all year round you can use it so definitely versatile occasions i would say you can wear this casual uh, if you're free spirit by the beach playing beach volleyball you are doing some roller skates and stuff great uh, if you are uh, just going to have some subway sandwiches great um, even if you're going to office and work i think it's pretty good scent because it's it's sort of like this scent niche platinum by armov which also is very close to loam by YSL which doesn't have any performance whatsoever and this one does so this one does have that fruity introduction it is a very fruity fragrance and it has that very lovely fruity fresh feel it's more fresher than others wanted so Steven Rattler since he said this is not super uh, childish it also has a mature vibe to it I can kind of say it because of the muskiness it comes becomes sort of like musky on the dry down so overall I really like the smell and I don't know why there's no hype on this stuff. It's not super pricey. I think for the 100 mil, you end up paying, what, less than $50, which is a great bargain. This juice is a winner for summers. And if you do like another fragrance I have, where the hell did I keep it? Yeah. If you're a fan of this, First Instinct, they're not the same at all, but the same kind of fragrance. If you love this, if you think this is this rocks, this is a good fragrance for the summer, this is another one you need to look at. I will not hype this supremely. It's bad side about it, it it's not super complicated scent it's, it doesn't have that most uh, sophistication or the artistic artistic aspect like eros uh, one million those are your very fun clubbing yes this kind of scent it, they don't have the most uh, sophisticated notes all right so if you are lover of that if you have been in the game for some time if you're a niche lover this is not your stuff avoid it you don't i don't think you will appreciate it you will not feel your money spent is justified if you do own invictus and many other sweet fragrances you can avoid it but if you're a collector like me if you stay true to your nature of collection you like all sweet fragrance you're gonna have to get all of them and they're gonna definitely give you different things at different times over time you can different differentiate so not everybody's gonna love this okay but it's not hate worthy if it makes sense uh, you can wear this. I can, I can see this. This could be like a school holidays, summer holidays written all over it. All over it, you know. If you're going for the cruise, just take this with you. Decant and or take the whole bottle. Why not? Finish half of it in one week. You'll definitely have good time. Daytime, nighttime by the palm trees, sitting by the, you know, those resting chairs by the beach. Nice breezy air going on. Very nice projection. Good longevity on this. Solid. So from my testing, you know, for the last few days, I'm getting like not the beast mode. This is not the beast mode performer, but it's definitely better than Loam. It's better than Invictus for summer. Yes. 
So I'm getting constantly four and a half hours from it with two hours of good projection. So with that sort of application, six application, or the whole night if you're going clubbing, it will last you. Girls, guys, anyone, it's more like your CK, summer, that sort of a unisex fragrance. Anyone can wear this easily. Uh, compliments, you're gonna pick up compliments if you're looking for some, if you're attention seeker, if you're a flirt. This is more, uh, it's not as sexy as La Nuit de Long, that sort of sexiness or CH men sort of alluring. No, <laughs> it's more like, hey, hi, hi, I'm John. I'm joy, I'm joy, I'm a happy person. Yep, that's kind of people, you know, like wearing shorts, Hawaiian t-shirts, not really worry about your looks and stuff, huge ugly ass hat, big sunglasses and stuff, you're just happy guy going to play beach volleyball. This is for you. You're going to go some singing and gonna be some booze, boozy drinks and stuff, cocktails, doing some jello shots, you know, you know, you get the idea. So very nice summer, spring, all year round, except that when it's snowing, I don't think it will make a very good scent, except bedtime scent. So overall remark, considering everything, performance, the price, the smell, I like it. I don't know why it's not getting much talk or hype. This is a very lovely fragrance for the summer. It, it's house of Azaro, don't neglect, neglect it. Give it a try. Try the smell out. It might work for you, for special youth, or care, like retired people. They are kind of same, right? Happy people. People who are stuck in between, they are the anal people like us. Why everything is just, why is this so much flanker? Why is this like so easy? Why is it so simple? We overanalyze. <laughs> but these people who don't analyze so much, not worried about life, long life ahead of you. As I was wanted for you. Give it a try. I'll give this overall remark 8 out of 10. I love this scent. This is definitely, need, you guys need to talk about this, all right? Azaro, this is my 8th bottle, I think. Very happy with the purchase and the house, I think. They're a great house, all right? So thank you guys for watching, uh, appreciating, commenting. Uh, I'll try to get back to your comments. I'll try to respond. I was not feeling all that well for the last few days. I'm back. Thanks to all your prayers, all your good wishes. Love you guys. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.